Welcome to the Brock Summerton Show. Talking from our studios in the big city, telling it to you straight. Here's your host, Brock Summerton. Welcome to Brock Summerton Podcast. I'm Brock Summerton, and I stand for more than my initials. Today, I'm excited because I have a guest named Salem Bin Salim. This is the guy who heads up Saudi Arabia's Department of Virtue and Public Relations. I'd bow and kiss your ring to show respect, but uh, I'm no Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame all Americans don't bow in the presence of Saudi greatness. You know, like your erstwhile president you just mentioned, uh, Hussein Obama. Uh, Salem, anyone ever tell you you don't sound like a Saudi? What do you mean? Well, what do I sound like to you? You sound like a mafia guy, you know, like someone straight out of the Godfather movie. Wait a second. You trying to insinuate the Saudi royals are like the mob? Oh, perish the thought. So, Salem, everyone's wondering, what happened to Jamal Khashoggi? Jamal who? Khashoggi. Jamal Khashoggi. The guy who went into the Saudi consulate in Turkey, but never came out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard something about that guy. Mm, Jamal, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real sad. Sad that your government killed him? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We didn't kill But your government already admitted. No, no. We only said what I mean is we didn't mean to. We meant we killed. What did you mean? Well, we, well, we, well, yeah, Jamal was killed. But we're not sure who... You're not sure? What do you mean? Don't you have suspects? Of course we have suspects. Who? My department's investigating, and soon, real soon, we're going to make a press statement. You're going to make a press statement. Your department, the PR, the public relations, is going to make the investigation? Yeah. So what's your point? My point is you're a PR guy. PR guys... They're not equipped to investigate. Oh, wait a minute. So is your, you think PR men aren't good investigators? I don't. Uh, well, Mr. Wise Guy Joykoff, I'll have you know, uh, Saudi uh, PR men are the world's best investigators. The very best. I mean, really the best and finest. I'm telling you. I don't believe a word you say. Hey, 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 hey. Show a little respect here. We even got a school with Saudi Arabia PR men train. It's a serious kind of thing. A four-year certification program and... Uh, four-year certificate. Come on. What a bunch of bullshit. I can prove it. How are you going to prove it? You can tour the four-year school where we PR men learn how to investigate. Okay, Salem bin Salim. I'll go. So how do I get there? Oh, that's real easy. We'll fly there together, just me and you, and we'll meet at the Saudi consulate in... Oh, yeah, I'd love to, but... Oh, gosh darn it, I'm busy on that day. But I didn't say which day. Uh Uh-huh. It was a pleasure having you on the Brock Summerton podcast, Salem bin Salim. You sure you don't want to visit the consulate, Mr. Summerton? I mean, I'll bring along my hospitality team to ensure we cater to your every last need. That sounds great. Except when you say hospitality team and last need, this picture pops into my head of a butcher and a janitor, probably with a blood-stained mop. That's not funny. No? No, no, but I do love American humor. What kind of American humor? Oh, like in The Godfather. When they stab Luca Brazzi's hand. (laughs) They carried him to death. That was like hilarious. The funniest thing I ever saw. Wait a second, Salem bin Salim. You think that was funny? You know the scene. Sure. After that, they dumped Luca Brazzi in the river, you know, so he could sleep with the fishes. Well, I never understood that part. I mean, he was dead, so how could he sleep with the fishes? Oh, but...
I'll stop. I can't cap it. When they impale his hand into the bar and take the carry around his throat. Even now thinking about how his eyes were bulging out of his head like in the cartoons makes me almost pee my pants. <laughs> Holy shit, Salem. You are one sick bastard. You're not the first person to say that. I'm not surprised. Yeah, Kashugi uh, said the same thing to me in the consulate. Said I must be the sickest bastard he ever met. Wait a second. You said you never met Chico- K- Jamal Kashoji. Oh, 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 you know, uh, it's coming back to me now. I'm recalling something. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, but uh, we weren't killing him. No, 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 no. Don't be silly. No, no. It's just that he says I was a sick bastard because I had a stuffy nose and I was sniffing. Yeah, I even sneezed. That's the ticket. Yeah, that's it. I even sneezed a couple of times and my head felt a little warm, like I had a little fever. Yeah, right. Okay. Listen, Mr. Summerton, it would be such an honor. It would be a great honor and a great privilege to have you visit my consulate will treat you real good in a very masculine way. A masculine way. Remember when Lucas said he hoped Vito's grandson would be masculine baby? Remember? Yeah, okay, Luca. I mean, uh, Salem. It was a pleasure. And that's Lights Out from the Brock Summerton Show. Sign up for Brock's newsletter for opinions, updates on podcasts, and to hear about his upcoming novel at brocksummerton.com. That's brocksummerton.com.